This is H-O-P-E, Hope, and you watching Hip Hop Official. Uh. <laughs> Who's Hope? I'm Hope, Compton Bread rapper. I've been writing since I was eight. Uh, the Chase, I would say The Chase for, for one to be a rapper back in high school. You know, back when battling was big, I was watching Ja Rule's Diary, right? I was watching Ja Rule's Diary and I saw him doing it. They show him in the studio. And I'm like 13 or whatever. I'm like, man, I'm better than Ja Rule. I could do this. Like, I'm gonna do this. Ja, ja Rule could do this and have all these fans and sell three million records of Pain is Love and so on and so forth. I blew him out the water, you know, pause. So I started, uh, I started writing, I started trying to come up with songs, I started trying to kill every rap I've ever heard, from my favorites to the locals. And that was the moment I was just like, okay, I'm gonna really do this. If Ja Rule could do it, now here I am right now, recording, doing interviews, shooting videos, dang, check me out. Shout out to Ja Rule. <laughs> These niggas don't want war, I'm war backwards I play tag with the tag backwards Lick backwards, no C, extra L, blow do backwards Extra E, I can even smoke a doobie backwards Yeah, that was the first song I ever recorded I remember exactly what I was doing when I, when I recorded When I wrote the backwards song I was laying on my bed And some, I was watching TV And I came with the first line I was like, these niggas don't want war, I'm war backwards And I was like, that'd be a dope song so I just started pacing around the house. I'm in the kitchen, I'm in everywhere, and I just had this long verse. And that's what I do, like I write a long verse and then I go find a beat. So I wrote that whole thing that night, and then the next day I had some more thoughts. So I'm gonna take these four bars out and put that there. And it was just, it was fun to do. The backwards thing was sort of like a peek into my love for the process, you know? You can't just really write a song, you have to really like writing songs for people to really like the songs you're writing. The backwards song for me is my favorite song I've written today. Big hope, number one, where they rape me. But time lenses, they lust for the neon. Something even haters can't agree on. The love for the nightlife, of the nightlife, of the nightlife, of the nightlife. Uh. My last project, Follow the Leader, I put in a lot of thought into it. Like, hip hop music is like divided in three, at least how I see it. There's like your lyricists, like your Joe Buttons, your, um, your Fairmonches, there's your rappers. You know, your Jeezy's, your Young Dro's, and so on and so forth. And then there's like hip pop, that's your Nelly's, that's Flo Rida. And with Follow the Leader, I wanted to do all three. With every song, I felt like I took on two of those sections, if not all three. When I, Because I feel like everybody's just doing one. Like, I'm, I'm a lyricist, so I'm just giving you lyricist songs, which is cool and all. But like, there's so many different fans, man. You have to please, or at least try to please so many people. You're a chef at the same time. You can't just make fish all the time. Some people want steak, some people want this and want that. So you have to really stretch yourself out as an artist and really challenge yourself, you know? And that's what I did with Follow the Leader from number one to number eight. Even the song I didn't rap on, I felt like I challenged myself, you know? If you don't challenge yourself, you're not gonna really progress. So what's the point in even doing it? You're not gonna progress at it, you know?